bless you. Thank you very much for stopping by and watching this. You know, uh, God is reaching out to the men. You know, we look around and the, the men are not in the church. We look around and a lot of different things are, are, are like our men. We've got to do better, brothers. We've got to step to the plate and do better. And so um, there's always a lot of talk. There's a lot of conferences coming up very soon. Well, men, come on out and hear the word. Anytime you need a word from the Lord, come on, continue to come by this website. We've dedicated this section for men only, so we can give you the word of God. Um, I also have an, uh, a men's program that we do called Manhood Endangered, Manhood Restored. And we're just going to keep on bringing the word to you men, to us men. Which is a place of fellowship. I know that in Raleigh, something's coming up real soon. Uh, the men's conference and we're going to be ministering on prayer and all type of things. We love you. We do have a word for you. Our foundation scripture is coming out of the Gospel of John, the 8th chapter, verses 31 to 36. Hallelujah. And it says, Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How saith thou, ye shall be made free? Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sins is the servant of sin. That's important. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. If the son therefore shall make you free, Ye shall be free indeed. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this word, O oh God. Holy Spirit, flow on the internet. Touch those lives, O oh God. Let them hear a word from your heart. In Jesus' name, amen. I'd like to title this message for us men. What do you know? What do you know? That's the title of the message. When we think about it. What do you know? What do you know? There's massive, massive knowledge all over the place. People know how to, how, how to do electrical work. There's scientists, there's doctors, all this different knowledge over here. And, but when I'm talking about what do you know, I'm really not talking about that type of knowledge. I'm not talking about your degree. I'm not talking about your lack of degree. But I'm talking what do you really know? Because knowing truth, according to the word of God, is what's going to set you free. I wonder, do you know what it means to be a man, a real man? A lot of us don't know because we have no fathers to teach us. A lot of us don't know what a real man is because somebody may have told you now that you're a certain age, now you can have a drink and thinking drinking brings manhood, but that's not what a real man is. You might say, well, um, now that you had your first sexual experience and you're a real man, that's not what a real man is. What do you really know? Do you know the truth? The truth is, manhood and responsibility goes together. The opposite of manhood is childhood. See, when you, when you come out of childhood and you're not a child anymore and you can handle responsibility, then you step into manhood. What do you really know? You know, you might say, well, you know how to, you know, you know how to um, roll a joint. Or you know how to manipulate, you know how to con. Some people are proud because they know how to shoplift. But that is not being a man. What do you really know? Do you know how to budget? Do you know how to pay bills? Do you know how to be committed to a wife? That's real knowledge. Do you know how to communicate on a level instead of yelling and fussing and arguing all the time? I know you might know Jay-Z's lyrics back and forth. But do you know how to handle the type of money Jay-Z got? Can you be at places on time? Another, another word for manhood is self-reliance. That means when you tell yourself you're not going to do a certain thing, then you don't do it. When you tell yourself you're going to be at a certain place, then you'll do it. Self-reliance. What do you know? Do you know how to do these things? Do you know your creator? Do you know God, the maker of heaven and earth? What do you know? The word of God tells us you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Men, 
We need Jesus Christ more than ever. We need the Christ, the Savior, to reveal to us who we are. Do you know that you're created in the image of God? Do you know that you have power? Do you know that the greatest ability you have in you is through the Spirit of God in your imagination? Do you know, as you look around you, that everything around you started off with an idea? The camera I'm looking at was an idea before I have. This microphone was an idea before and now we're using it. Everything you see was an idea. God never built a house. God never built a car. God never built anything. Man has done that through ideas. Do you know that you have that same potential? Do you know that you have a right to be free? That's the gospel truth. Men are under a lot of pressure. Thinking that they have to always perform sexually. And all you're hearing is Viagra commercials and different things like that. But God has something greater in you than just your ability to have sex. God has something greater in life than getting high. God has something greater in life. Do you know that? Do you know our creator? Do you know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Men say, well I used to know him. Well you need to know him more. You may used to know, but now it's time to get back to the things of God. Do you know your Bible? You probably know everybody on all the football teams. All the they, they, You probably know the team players. You probably know their schedule. You probably know um, every, every, uh, uh, every play that they're going through and what's happening this season. But do you know your Bible? Do you know your word? The word, the Bible says, man should not live by bread alone, but every word that cometh out of the mouth of God. Man, I want to encourage you to get back to the things of God. Get back to reading your Bible. Because it's the truth in the word of God. If that's what you know, you can be set free. Do you know that God will give you power to rebuke spirits? The Bible says that the first, the first sign, these signs shall follow that believe. One of the first signs is, we shall cast out devils. Do you know that in Christ you have the ability to rebuke the demons off of your children? Do you know that you can? You have the ability to step out in the grace of God? He'll answer your prayer. If you know God, if you really know how to get a hold of God, He'll answer your prayer. He'll turn your life around. Now is the time of salvation. Now is the time to get to know Jesus Christ. Do you know that He's just a prayer away? Do you know that whosoever comes to Christ, he will not cast him away? Whosoever, whosoever. A simple prayer. Jesus come into my life. Change, turn my life around. What do you know? Do you know Jesus is real? The word of God is real. I know life is real. Do you know that you don't have to take what the devil has to offer? Do you know that God is for you, not against you? Do you know that you have a right to be free? That's the gospel truth. Think about it. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. What do you know? Let me tell you something. Jesus loves you. God bless. Thank you for coming by. Until next time, remember, you have a right to be free. You don't have to take what the devil has to offer. Man, get into the house of God. We need more men in the church. Get to every conference that we're having. Get out there and hear the word of God so you can become what God has called you to be. You can, you know, Jeremiah, uh, the 29th chapter says, God has a plan for you. Did you know that? God has a plan for you. Receive Christ. Rise to the occasion. God bless you.